下去。Hey, you know, after I saw you today. Yeah. Well, we got that small hotel job I was bidding on. Oh. It came in just in time. Oh, oh yeah. Terrific. That's really great. Huh? So you're you're feeling pretty okay, huh? Oh, I'm feeling great. Yeah. yeah. No pressures. No. Ah, well, uh, then let's have a glass of wine, huh? Oh, great. So tell me, what did you do today? Oh, let's see. After I left your office. I stopped by the library, then I walked all the way home. And, oh, I finally came up with an idea, a good idea for the display at Sam Ferry's drugstore. Now ask me what I did yesterday. Okay, what'd you do yesterday? I opened a doctor bill addressed to you. I know. What? Well, you put the bill inside out when you stuck it in the envelope. <laughs> oh, Joe, why didn't you say something? Well, I figured that you would tell me, if you wanted to tell me, why you opened it. I mean, I don't cry. You see that, Joe? You're so good, and I'm so rotten. I should have told you right away. I'm so sorry, really. You can read my mail. I'll let you read my letter from Mary. I already did. <laughs> did you? Yeah, it was up on the shelf. Oh, Ro, listen, it doesn't matter. I mean, you read something that was addressed to me. Yeah. Who cares, huh? Well, yeah. And who cares if Wexler is a psychiatrist? You know? Yeah, Joe, listen, I was so worried when I saw that that bill was from a doctor. I thought you were keeping something from me. I was. What were you keeping from me? Now, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Please want to. <laughs> Please. Okay. Okay. It was... When my marriage to Marion was breaking up, we decided that we should seek outside help. So we went to see an outsider, Dr. Wexler. And he listened to our problems, and he seemed to zero right in on the major difficulty of our relationship. Which was? That we were both married to each other. <laughs> well, what do you and Wexler think about us? Well, I didn't go see him about us. Well. I mean, not just about us. Maybe about us. Yeah. Oh, this isn't easy. You're telling me? My hands haven't sweated so much since I tried out for cheerleader. <laughs> I was the only kid whose pom-poms ran. You see, I just had to talk things out with Wexler. Yeah, last time you talked things out with Wexler, you got a divorce. <laughs> well, having been to one bad marriage, I had my doubts. And here I was, finding myself in another marriage and a great marriage, and I was just afraid that I was going to blow it. Joe, I thought it was me, maybe. Well, what Dr. Wexler did also. He did? Well, he likes me. <laughs> now, look, I just have to admit that it's not easy to adjust to you. You're so giving, you're so affectionate. You're I can change. <laughs> Listen, I, I began to think that something was wrong with me because I couldn't be as open as you were. Oh, Joe, I, 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 I can't tell you what I've been going through, the fears. I mean, I really thought it was something I had done or was doing or... Joe, are you telling me that you went to a psychiatrist because of something good about me? Yeah, yeah, I guess so, sure. Are you still going? No, no, I just went twice. It seems silly to pay him $50 an hour just to tell him that I love you. Well, if you have to tell someone, I have an hour free. <laughs> Step into my office. Okay. Reasonable rates. Okay, wine. Okay. Terrific hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> Rhoda? Yeah, Joe? Come in here a minute. How can I? The door is locked. Try it. A son of a gun. I just wanted you to see I'm making progress. <laughs> you certainly are. Now, maybe the next time you take a shower, you can do it without a bathing suit. 